let's look at one more differential equation of uh, insect or the growth of insect population. Okay, so the question is, the population n of a species of insect satisfies the differential equation dn by dt is equal to r times 1 minus n over k, where t is time and r and k are positive constants. And you want to prove n or the number of or the population of the, of the species of insect or the insect uh, species. n as a function of time is k plus n sub naught minus k times e to the power rt minus rt over k, where n sub naught is the initial population or when this is when time is equal to zero. Okay. So let's write the differential equation first. So dn by dt, I'll go very slowly so that you can understand. So this is looks to be fairly difficult, but if you go systematically, you will find this is not that difficult. So this, this implies dn by dt is equal to r times uh, this is multiplying k to both the numerator and denominator. So this is k minus n over k. Okay, so this implies, I'll try to save space, dn by, this implies dn by dt is equal to, I'll factor out the 1 over k like this. So this is rk minus rn. Okay, now separating the n's with rk minus or dn with this, I can write or dividing both sides by rk minus rn, I can write 1 over rk minus rn dn is equal to 1 over k dt. I hope you understand this step because you're dividing both by this and multiplying by dt. So now I'm going to integrate both sides. So this implies integration of 1 over rk minus rn dn is equal to 1 over k times integration of 1 dt. Okay, for the next step is a bit uh, difficult to understand. So if you, if you want to integrate this function, r is a constant, k is a constant. Okay, uh, and here r is a coefficient. Now, the integration of 1 over x is natural log of x. But the problem is, here it's not as simple as 1 over x. Here you've got minus rn. So you have to take care of this, minus rn. So you have to use the inverse chain rule. So if you remember, if you were, if you're using chain, when you're differentiating using chain rule, imagine first, what would you do when you are, if you are differentiating this? So if you are differentiating this, forget about the 1 over n, 1 over x. So if you are differentiating this function, that is rk minus minus rn, using the chain rule, first I'll differentiate the inside. So I'll have to multiply by negative r. Now, as we're integrating, and as integration is the opposite of differentiation, you will have to multiply or divide by negative r. So that is one step which you have to understand. This is where most of you can do mistake. Therefore, this would be negative 1 over r. This is same as dividing by negative r times natural log of a times a times r k minus r n is equal to 1 over k t. Now you may wonder where did I get this a. Now this a is nothing but the constant of integration. Now this as in some when you're integrating other functions, you can write c plus c. And as c is an arbitrary constant, and you can add c or multiply by a. Now, whenever it in, when, whenever you have natural log, when a function integrates natural, natural log, you multiply by the constant because it's an arbitrary constant. Okay, so what will happen next? I don't want this negative 1 over r, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative r. So this becomes natural log of a times rk minus rn 
is equal to minus minus rt right minus rt over k now what did i do how did you get this minus r i have multiplied both sides by negative r so now this has a base of e so writing this in an exponent form i can write a times modulus of a times r k minus r n is equal to e to the power minus r t over k now we know when t is 0 n is n sub naught this implies if you put this in this equation i can say i can remove the modulus now because we are dealing with only positive uh, insect population is not going to be negative so uh, modulus has no significance now so you can say a times r k minus r n sub naught is equal to e to the power 0 and e to the power 0 is nothing but 1 so now therefore i can say a as a dividing both sides by r k minus r n sub naught is 1 over r k minus r n sub naught okay now this is what i've got as a function for a for the constant a so i'm going to put this i'm going to put this back into this equation okay so let me change color say let me use a, a colorful violet color rich royal color so this implies if you put this back i can say minus one over r times natural log of a is one over this so this you can write as r k minus r n over r k minus r n sub naught this is r okay hopefully you understand this is not v this is r my r looks like v is equal to minus sorry it is equal to uh, t over k okay so now the same thing you can multiply both sides by negative r so you can say natural log of r you can cancel the r's now because if you factor r from this so this will be natural log of k minus n over k minus n sub naught is equal to minus r t over k so i have multiplied both sides by negative r now this has a base of natural log again has a base of e so writing this uh, in power or uh, exponential form is k minus n over k minus n sub naught is e to the power minus r t over k okay now what will happen so i'm going to multiply both sides by k minus n sub naught so i can say k minus n is equal to k minus n sub naught times e to the power minus r t over k so i want to if i swap this uh okay to understand the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply this with negative one so if you multiply this with negative one it also multiply this with negative one so this will become n minus k is equal to because of you're multiplying by negative one this will swap over is equal to n sub naught minus k times e to the power minus r t over k now adding k to both sides so n is equal to k plus n sub naught minus k times e to the power minus r t over k now this is a function in terms of or with respect to time because k is a constant n sub naught is a constant uh, r and k are constant okay so n as a function of time so n as a function of time is k plus n sub naught minus k times e to the power minus r t over k and that's what we wanted to prove this is what we wanted to prove n as a function of t is k plus n sub naught minus k times e to the power minus r t over k and we have proved it so we should be really proud and we should give ourselves say five stars or five smiley faces.